Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Edgar from Solo Marketer here. In this video, I want to quickly show you how to set up a two-step order form like this in System.io, and also uh, why set one up, why would you need one, and also how to customize some of the <clears throat> aspects of it. So yeah, the main reason you would need a two-step order form is to collect the contact information up front, and then in case the, the potential buyers don't buy, you can follow up with them, right? There should be like a, probably a card above or maybe at the end of the video of uh, something called a card abandonment sequence, like an instructional video on how you can re-engage with these people, how to, you can increase your sales numbers hopefully, if you do it right, uh, by sending a follow-up sequence for those who fell through the cracks, right? If you just have one long form with all the contact information, credit card details, everything, then it's just basically they either bought or they didn't buy. But if it's a two-step, then some of them buy, some of them put in their contact information and don't buy. And there's also obviously the majority will be those who don't even fill out the contact information, but at least you capture more people uh, on your mailing list that you can follow up with. So yeah, that's the main reason, I guess. So let's go set one up and I'll show you how to um, how to customize all the elements of it. So now we are at the editor. Uh, by the way, in the description, you can get a free template of this sales page. Just so you know, this is uh, completely free and uh, comes with like an instructional video, a course template and all kinds of stuff. So go check that out as well. It's in the description if you're interested, if you don't want to start from completely from zero. But as for the order form itself, let's just close this. Let's just add a new one. So over here on the left side, uh, in, in the under the elements tab, what you want to do is you want to find two step order form. You want to drag it in. Right. So this is the order form. You want to click on it. And here you see there's two steps, right? Step one, step two. This is the first step. So what I would do is, uh, honestly, if it's not a physical product, if it's a digital product, I would take all of this stuff out. All this stuff, the address, you don't need it. You don't need a phone number. You don't need a postcode. You don't need all that stuff. If you're just sending them a digital, uh, giving access to a course, to a digital book, whatever, right? And the main reason for that is the more questions you ask, the less people will convert to an actual lead and a purchaser and whatever, because yeah, it's just more obstacles. So you want to put the, the smallest amount of obstacles that you can, but still collect some information. So what I would do here is I would take all of this out, unless it's a physical product and obviously you need to leave this in. So let's take out the city. We don't need to know what city they live in. Country, postcode, not really. And uh, over here, yeah, that's about it. And what else you can do if you click on the whole element itself, you can change up the, the copy, the, the colors, everything basically, right? Step one, uh, contact information, right? So you can edit all of this stuff. You can edit the next line. Where do you want us to send it? All right. And then there's all kinds of stuff. You can keep this in, you can delete this, you can change the colors. Let's change the button color. Let's make it green. Let's make this element green as well, right? You can change all these things. You can change the footer text, which is like a disclaimer. So all these things make a first step really simple. Name, I wouldn't even keep the last name element and I would just do first name and email and that's it, right? I would just have those two elements, maybe a phone number if necessary, but if not, take it out. So that is, if we click on it again, that is the first step. Step two, this is more simple. Obviously you can edit all the copies here as well, like the previous step. And also these elements are the, uh, this is like the pricing options. Those are going to automatically fill in. Same thing with like the payment methods, payment, everything related to payments. That's whatever payment processors you have integrated. That's all going to show up here. And whether it's Stripe, PayPal, whatever else that's going to show up here, the credit card detail fields all are going to show up here. So that's pretty simple. And uh, the last thing you want to do, obviously, if you're going to go back is on the funnel level itself you want to connect it to a payment processor, right? You can see here it's not connected. So just click on it, just connect it to, uh, to Stripe, PayPal, whatever, or both maybe. And that's a really simple process. You just click and it's just, it takes like a minute. And same thing goes for resources. What is the thing you're giving? Is it like you're sending, giving them a course bundle or giving them a course or just, you know, there's all kinds of options here and also coupons if a coupon is needed. So that's kind of the short version again. Down below, there's a uh, template that's that gives way more detail on how to set this whole thing up, how to set up the sales page, kind of just use what I what I give you as a foundation, and just so you don't need to reinvent the wheel, you just replace it with your own text and have like a welcome email connected to a course. I show you everything how how to connect it all together, and it's all completely free. Go sign up. 
uh, get your free template. Yeah, if you have any questions down below, I'm happy to help. Uh, but if you don't have any questions, I will see you in the next video. Bye.